to our story, it's wonderful, cause we got horses here, horses here that run in circles that you love to cheer, love to cheer. Now if you're gonna visit at the Derby, we know that you'll be baroque, but still you will cheer. Now listen, here's a clue. Our grass ain't blue. But we got bourbon here, yeah! It's the best, it's the best A finger licking chicken stands the test Stands the test We got a paddle wheel that's on a river A bat that's bigger Hooray, we're mighty glad you're all here So so that you'll be able to see if, if you need any help, we'll try. So, um, one of the things that's exciting about contest is that all the, the air that's around it and the, the illusion that you get. And so, some of the things that we need to think about are such things as, first of all, our anniversary. And we are so honored to be part of the 75th anniversary of all of us. Right. Let's hear it for Sweet Adeline. In Louisville. <laughs> so one of the things that's exciting about contests is the air of excitement around and everybody tends to get involved in it. And I heard backstage that the devil challenged St. Peter to a barbershop contest. St. Peter says, well, Sure, I've got all the best singers. I have all the best leads, right, leads? Let's hear it. All the best basses. All the best baritones. And all the best tenors. So St. Peter says, sure, I'll take you on because I've got all the best singers. And the devil looks at St. Peter and says, yeah, but I've got all the judges. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're not competing, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're just kidding. So, right. Um, I don't know if you people can see them down here, but it's not that it's being a judge is scary enough for us. They have to dress up in costumes. They're all in their Halloween costumes. And so they're here to make it just a little bit more frightening for us. Thank you very much. And we should thank you because you're just getting into the spirit of things that was a bad joke, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's try that one more time. They're just getting into the spirit of things. Oh that, oh, that was excellent, excellent. But one of the things about contests is that it is really special. And so many of us work for years and years and years and years and years to finally hope that we can finally touch that gold. But one of the things that we need to remember is that winning is not always first place. And so one of the things that we need to think about also is all the different times that maybe you have come home from work and you're totally exhausted. And you get home and you think, oh, it's rehearsal night. And so you drag yourself to rehearsal. You go in there and you're seeing all the smiling faces and the hellos and you get up on the risers and you start to sing and that wonderful harmony surrounds you. That is when you can touch the gold. Don't you feel that way? Also, if you have a teenage child 
and they look up at you and go, Mom, I love you. That is another touch of gold. So we want to wish all the contestants good luck. And also, we hope that all of us will be able to realize through our life the moments that we can reach out, touch, and hold the gold. My heart's been driven by extremes and 